Hello guys, welcome back. For those who are new here, my name is Lona and I'm a wine enthusiast and for those who are coming back, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the white wine guide and I'm going to touch four principal white wine grapes. I'm going to talk about four grapes as I said, so it's going to be Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Riesling and Pinot Grigio or Pinot Gris. The first white wine grape I'm going to talk about is Chardonnay. Chardonnay is a dry white grape originally from the region of Burgundy in France and it's a very versatile grape. It's dry, light to medium body and a very versatile grape that winemakers like using various techniques. When you come to its taste, you feel a lot of green fruits and a fun fact about Chardonnay, it's a type of wine grape that used to make sparkling wines or champagne. The next group we're going to talk about is Sauvignon Blanc. Blanc means white. So when you see anything with the name Blanc, it means white. So Sauvignon Blanc, originally from France again, as France is the capital of all these wines, but nowadays it's also grown in other regions. That is the US, Chile, New Zealand, and South Africa. When it comes to the palette of Sauvignon Blanc, it's typically dry, very herbaceous. Herbaceous meaning it's very herbal. You feel the floral, the citrus kind of fruits, which is not personally my favorite, but most people actually like it that way. Another thing about Sauvignon Blanc, it's typically an oaked, meaning it's not aged in oak barrels, but it's aged in inert vessels and also it's always produced as a single varietal meaning you'll only see a Sauvignon Blanc wine bottle most times as one grape and they don't blend it as much and when they blend it with a grape called Semillon it's a it's off dry to semi sweet kind of a wine then let's go to Riesling so if you're a new beginner to white wine I highly recommend or I'd recommend you a Riesling type of wine. Riesling is generally from Germany but nowadays it's planted very well in Australia. Riesling is that very aromatic grape that can be dry to medium sweet to actually really sweet. Riesling are typically an oak and it can also age very well and some that have aged really well you can get the smell of petrol or gasoline which I find it quite interesting. So next time you pick a Riesling on a shelf that has aged and it smells like gasoline you got yourself a good Riesling. Last but not least the last white grape we're gonna talk about it's Pinot Grigio or Pinot Gris which is my favorite wine white wine the difference between Pinot Grigio and Pinot Gris is that Pinot Grigio is Italian and Pinot Gris is French typically the same type of grape and also it's made differently depending on the country when it comes to Pinot Grigio it's high acidity very dry full body and when you come to Pinot Gris is dry to medium dry and when I say medium dry it's kind of medium sweet and also it's very light body so again i recommend pinot gris from french if you're new to white wine so that's it for today guys if you have any question please ask me on the comment down below and don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next one cheers it's dry it's light to full bodied it's dry light to full bodied i think i need to say that mm. oh mm. layman's language Mm. Deep, deeper. <laughs> Blanc means white, so anything and Sauvignon means wild, <laughs> wild, grapes. wild white. Sorry, wild white grape. Anyway, I think Nafaku Rudia too slightly. Let me go reverse on herbaceous advice. You typically enjoy it with. <laughs> oh God, sorry. <laughs> Oh, and I wrote it about on my reel the other day. Germany such as ice wine and <clears throat> I've forgotten. So Riesling is that type that. You need very good. It can age. You know they are almost similar. So then I confuse, confuse. So the last one, my favorite, which is Pinot Grigio. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Selfie, Peter.